So today I'm going to be doing uh, my 30th birthday haul, everything I got, all the cuteness and everything like that. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right into it and let's just go. So I'm going to do with what my boyfriend got me. What? I say it like that. My boyfriend. <laughs> My boyfriend got me quite a few things. Okay, so things that are not physical, um, that are amazing. I don't know if you guys saw it in the vlog. Um, the vlog channel is linked down below, so you guys can go check it out if you want to see. But he rented out an entire mansion for me and my friends to have a really fun night for my birthday. Um, he got me a unicorn cake. That was actual physical things. That was absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, I loved it so much. And it said my name on it. And like, it was funny because a few months um, before my birthday, we were talking like, what's like the number one Thing you would want for your birthday like we were just we always ask each other like random questions like that and i said i've always wanted a unicorn cake and he like remembered that and actually did it so that was like ah, like it was so, ah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm in like an like crazy good mood right now. He also gave me a disposable camera, which I used for my birthday weekend. He also got me a mini brands, which I've already opened and went through. It was just like our kind of thing that we went through. He literally did so much my birthday weekend. It was absolutely amazing. It was so magical and I just loved it so much. So the actual presents that I have right now that he got me, um, my favorite one was this card that was very personal. I'm not gonna show it. I'll just show what the card looks like. So this is what it looks like. And he he wrote like the sweetest thing in there um so this is my favorite gift that he gave me you guys know that i love horror movies and i collect horror movies that i love so i have like a huge collection of horror movies that are my absolute favorite and i said that this was my favorite one of my favorite movies and i wanted it in hard copy because we watched it one night and i was like oh my god i wish i had this in hard copy and he remembered that and got it for me which is drag me to hell this is a really really good horror movie people ask me all the time on youtube and, and on twitter and stuff what horror movies I recommend. Drag Me to Hell is one of them. It's such a good horror movie. I'm not going to give it away, but it's one of those ones that don't have a happy ending. So I like those because horror movies are like horror. They want to leave you in suspense and everything. Thinking there should be a number two of this. I don't know if anyone agrees with me, but I really feel like there should be. Um, there's an unrated and a theatrical version. I want to see the unrated version because I just watched the theatrical one. So I'm so excited about this. I love this purchase. This was like so sentimental. Like he remembered it. Okay. And then he got me a calendar of Dragon Ball Z. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. Like, I love this. Um, we're in the middle of doing a Dragon Ball Z puzzle right now, which is actually really hard. So this is a 16 month calendar. So it goes into, oh no, it started in 2019. Okay, so I can use it for the rest of the year. So I'm gonna put this in my office. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, this is what is on the back there. I'm so excited for that. He literally got me things that I love. Okay, then just like a fun little thing, which I thought was so unique and different. Like a lot of people get things that, you know, people like, you know, but this was something he was like, um, maybe you'll like it. And it's this fantasy flyer. So it's basically a kite and it's, I don't know if it's this print um because it doesn't really show it must have this like girl on it so she's like a strawberry or like a ladybug or something <laughs> i'm sorry it's either a strawberry or a ladybug but it's so beautiful and i cannot wait like going to fly a kite in this beautiful weather like we've been going walking by the river a lot lately so just like being able to like have a picnic and fly a kite i think that's like the cutest thing ever and i've never done that like i don't even think as a kid i flew a kite i could be wrong but i thought that was so cute and then the very last like physical thing that he got me was this that i was obsessed with he's like i don't know if you're gonna like this and this was like my favorite like actual gift that he got me like physical gift other than the card um was this so basically you just clamp this on wherever you want to take a selfie and be all extra and then you plug it in and then there's a little dial here which i'll show you guys so here is the on button and then there is you can make it brighter or dimmer and then this changes the uh color of the light so you can either have it like natural light i guess and then you can have it more like yellow toned or more blue toned so there's three different settings on that and then so what you do is like these you can angle to whatever you want and it's a ring light so what i'm using right now to film and then this opens up like this and you put your camera or so your phone or your camera um in there and then you can like take insane selfies which i just did right now and post them on snap and i love it so much like this was like one of the craziest gifts because i'm like uh, like i love this i love selfies i was gonna buy for myself for like years the lumi case for the cell phone um and i just haven't and that's like pretty much a lumi case so <laughs> I obviously wouldn't take it like to go in the car or anything like that but at home or like traveling and stuff i think up amazing okay next i'm gonna go with what my best friend got me um chris i love chris so much chris is like my other half when my mom met him she was like oh i didn't know i gave birth 
to another kid. Like I didn't even know, like you guys are legit twins. People say that to us all the time. Literally my, my everything, Chris, I love you so much. Um, I love that I said this whole thing about Chris and I didn't even go on the spiel about Austin. Like, <laughs> Austin, I love you too. Don't be in the, like, Austin, I love you too. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> this was, ugh, this was such a personal present that he got me. So basically, this is a Justin Bieber hoodie from the stadium tour in 2017. Am I right? Did I get my dates right? Yes. <laughs> and it's so gorgeous. I've been wearing this like nonstop. If you guys have seen it on the vlogs or on my snap or anything like that, like I wash this and use it. Like I'm, I'm like always like just throwing it in the wash and reusing it. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I love the colors of it. It looks really good on me, no offense. <laughs> but this, Thank you, Chris. I love you so much. Next, I'm gonna go with what my parents got me because it leads into what my brother got me. So first of all, they got me a card. Um, if I didn't say it's my 30th birthday, so hello 30s. We're coming in fast and hot. And I'm just gonna show the front of it. It's a little cupcake there. Okay, they got me, this is like the main present. Uh, this is an espresso maker. So if you guys follow my vlogs, you would know that I, for some reason, am like overly obsessed with espresso, which I and my friends call it egg espresso, and I have no idea why. Like we literally go to Tim Hortons and we'll be like three egg espresso shots. Like I don't know why, and we like die laughing, thinking it's so funny. It's not, like it's not funny at all. Like, okay, but <laughs> egg espresso. So now I can make my own egg espresso at home. I am so excited, like I actually have one now. Like I need to, I don't know what to do. I've never owned like a coffee maker or like people have Keurigs, I've never. My parents had one, but like I, I use it like once for tea. Um, I don't like drink coffee or anything like that. I don't know why I'm obsessed with espresso, but I just am. Maybe because like it makes me hype and that's why I'm like, ah, on this video. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait. So maybe I'll do like a clip on the vlog um, of me setting it up and everything like that. But that was like, I was not expecting that. Like, and it's funny because that's how you know my mom like watches my videos because I've never like said to her like, oh, I'm obsessed with espresso. Like, she just ha watches my videos and knew that. So I cannot wait to set that up and make my own espresso. Okay, so my mom also um, had a little party, like a get together in her backyard. My dad as well and my brother. They all, and Austin helped set it up too. They all came together and put like, oh my God, it was so beautiful. Like honestly, they'd like put little streamers and happy birthday things. And they gave me a little happy birthday thing with a hat. If you guys watched the vlogs, you would see that. Um, and then they set up like a little Hello Kitty table with um, alcohol and chocolate. And my mom made like taco cups and pizza later on. And she made vodka soaked gummy bears and like it was just honestly a super fun night and she got like these little glasses like fun like character glasses like um like paper ones or like cardboard ones for all of us like it was just such a fun night and i laughed like the whole night um a few days later when i went to pick up something from my mom she was like i had the funnest time ever with your friends like just a small group of friends and it was just like so fun in the backyard chilling with a fire and like music and stuff and like honestly that was like the best that was the highlight of my birthday was just being with everyone and having everyone laugh and smiling and getting together. Okay, so this was like my other little gift that my mom included. So here are these two espresso like shot glasses. Really cute. And then she got me a bunch of candy. Oh, she got me a bottle of Hennessy and I already polished that off with my friends on my birthday weekend. I'm gonna run through the candy real quick here. Maltesers and Reese's, a Hershey's cookies and cream mix and a Bueno. This is one of my favorite chocolate bars. Skittles and Hershey's drops, my favorite cookie. Fudgio. If you love like chocolate, chocolate, try those. A lemon unsweetened pure leaf, a Starbucks frat, which this bothers me. I don't know if this bothers anyone else. Like I love Starbucks and with Starbucks queen. I love this, by the way. I just hate that they call it a frappuccino because a frappuccino is blended ice. And this to me, it's like just a nice coffee, right? Like it's a vanilla iced coffee. So just like call it iced coffee. Like I hate that they say frat because it's not. It's like a melted frat. They should say melted. Is anyone? Anyway, some emoji stickers for my journal because I'm always journaling, which I haven't for a while. I really need to get back into it. And then I really, really liked this last part of the gift. So it's like kind of a three thing. Uh, Sudoku, 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 Sudoku. <laughs> The last trip my family went on, my dad, um, we were sitting in the airport. We got delayed, like, honestly, seven hours. I don't have any games on my phone, and my dad was playing Sudoku. Uh, I think that's how you said Sudoku? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, I was like, 
uh, what are you doing? He's like playing studio call. I was like, oh, never mind. He goes, let me teach you. And I said, no, like I like that looks way too hard. Like I've always seen people do it. Like it's not. And he's like, no, no, you, you can get a hang of it. Just like, cause I hate, I'm a Taurus. Like I'm stubborn. Like <laughs> I'm in my way. He showed me how to do it and I've been obsessed with it ever since. So I love it so much. So I love that I have an actual hard copy, um, because writing something down, there's just something about it rather than just being like on your technology all the time. Um, so then my mom got me some pencils and sharpeners to go along with that. I thought that was like such a cute personal present. So much candy. Okay, then what my brother got me, which ties in, which is actually funny because I opened his gift first and I was kind of a little bit confused, but I was like, oh cute, like for espresso. And then I opened the espresso machine. He got me this like Starbucks coffee, medium roast, which I can put in there and then make the espresso with. So when I opened this, I was like, oh, ground coffee. Like I don't have a coffee maker, I don't drink coffee but like thank you like all cute thank you and then when i pulled out these i saw these i was like oh my god espresso cut there's a twix in here <laughs> little espresso cups like that's so cute like so i can either do a shot of it or have like be like real classy and sit my espresso like that this just shows that this is how obsessed i am with espresso like obsessed and then the remaining things in this bag was my mom set out like i said like chocolates and stuff and then at the end of the night she was like take it. She like took the bowl and like dumped it in this gift bag that my brother got me. So this is like filled with the candy that was on the table. So there's like M&M's, Smarties, Lindor, Reese's Pieces, Oreo chocolate bars, Twix, Junior Mints. Like there's so many things in here. So my other friends got me champagne to like go like this and pop, which I showed that on the vlog channel. They got me a big bottle of strawberry wine, which is like our thing together as a group. And then they got me a bottle of tequila, which all of that is gone. <laughs> and I shared it with everyone. My extensions, I'm so sorry. Uh, my grandma, uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, sends me money every single year. So I'll usually go to the mall and find something, but the malls just open two days ago i went and there's like no stores open so it's a big mark so i'm just gonna save that money for when the malls open and when things are like kind of back to normal i'm not really in the mood to go shopping and buying stuff anyway but um when it happens then it'll happen and then the very last person um that i that bought me presents is myself and again i usually go to the mall and get something for myself i was gonna go to michael kors and just look around i was actually wanting like to look at the guest purses but none of these places were open um um, I thought about getting the Jeffree Star uh, cremated palette, but I was like, I have so many makeup palettes, like, and I don't even really wear eyeshadow anymore. I just wear huge lashes. So like everything was like a mer 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 mer. So what I did for myself was I bought these. Ooh! These absolutely stunning press on nails. Yes, these are press on nails, girl. And these are from my friend Delaney Jade um, in Saskatoon. She made these beautiful press on nails. Like, I cannot. Um, not wearing nails for months and then going to like this length again. It's like, I'm like, what do I do? I feel like I'd burn like my talons. <laughs> so I have to get used to these, but they are so stunning. Like, with the the little the faded pink with the stars and the clouds like I cannot like these are beautiful they'll definitely do for the time being before I can get my nails actually done again um so these are absolutely gorgeous I love them so much like I love 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 them so that was my gift for myself I wanted to you know pamper myself a little bit as much as I can right now um but nevertheless I had a really good birthday all the birthday wishes from you guys the birthday wishes from my friends and my family and everyone like I just like honestly my I lost my voice or it was losing my voice and was so run down because I was like laughing. My jaw right here hurt so bad. It was because I was like literally laughing and smiling the whole weekend. I was screaming and yelling and singing and dancing and like I have bruises on my legs from like dancing and singing and like just being goofy and being like literally a 13 year old kid. Like I'm not kidding. Like I was saying to Austin, it was probably the best birthday I've had since I was like I, maybe when I was like five years old, I was having like a lit time, you know, at wherever I was, like Rockers or something and playing arcades and eating pizza. And that was probably like super, you know, fun because I'm a kid. But honestly, I truly feel like this was the best birthday I've ever had. I had so much fun with good people, good friends, good food. And I just didn't have any worry or care in the world. Like it was just so fun. So um, again, thank you to you guys. I had birthday edits made for me from you guys. Uh, it was just such a fun, fun time. That was everything I got for my birthday. I feel like I've been talking like a mile a minute. Espresso. <laughs> I remember last year I was like, ugh, my 29th birthday, I'm old. And like, ugh, my 28th birthday, I'm old. I'm really glad that I didn't say that because I like legit, I'm so happy in my life and I feel so like, hee hee hee. I'm like age, like who even cares? So 
I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Stay kind to each other. Treat people with respect. Be happy. Spread some kindness right now and today. And I love you guys so much. Bye.